Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is EJ. Nice to meet you. And today we're at the MTSU. Uh, this is the ATC lab? Yes, sir. Air Traffic Control Training Lab. Awesome. So what do you do here? Well, this one specifically is tower, um, but we learned the three different ones. So we have tower, tracon, and then center. Um, so they're all in different locations. Tracon and tower are going to be physically at the airport and the giant towers that you'll see, which is what we're currently in here right now. So it's actually the only 360 degree simulation tower in the world. This is incredible. One thing that we've been absolutely blown away with is the simulation that you guys have, whether it's the aircraft, whether it's the NASA focus lab, and, and of course this tower. And you guys are all connected, aren't you? Oh yeah, absolutely. So Ramp Tower is going to coordinate with us um, and we run simulations through there. Like we'll do um, point outs to different centers. Everything in aerospace is kind of really linked together. Um, and it's really cool because we get to hands-on do that, um, whether it's in this lab or in the flight labs or the NASA focus lab. Fantastic. What are the, uh, the core things that you're going to be learning when you take this course? The safe and expeditious flow of air traffic. <laughs> so that's the motto of the FAA. Safe and expeditious um, flow of air traffic? Yes, sir. So um, just keeping the airplane separated, but also flowing into the air, um, airport or whether it's in the airspace. There's not only a lot of safety at risk here where you got to keep lives uh, safe, but there's also a lot of business, a lot of dollars that are Absolutely. lost with just one missed flight. And Absolutely. You guys are kind of a gatekeeper to making sure that that happens smoothly. Yes, sir. With air traffic control, from what I understand, there's not a lot of people filling jobs that are leaving. It's a it's a vacuum right now, right? Yes, sir. They're constantly having hiring pools, especially right now. But this is actually something that can put you to the front of the line for getting a job? Yeah, so they do two different hiring pools for um, the FAA Academy. Mm -hmm. Off the street comes second, and then military and CTI students, uh, they, they're in a priority pool. And this is a CTI program? Yes, sir. Very cool. How long will you be in this program before you're ready to go out and to yes. approach a job? So you have to do a lot of uh, gen eds for this through the aerospace program. Like, I'm admin, so I have to take a additional classes such as ProPilot 1 and 2 okay. um, before I can get into this. And then once you're actually in, you have a lab each semester for your last two years. When you first start out, you learn just the proper phraseology to tell the pilots, or it can be a heavy day, like we have a FedEx push simulator, hundreds of planes just coming in and out of Memphis um, just for FedEx. So we have that in here. Um, we have a day where it's completely IFR, so you won't be able to see out of here because there's so much fog and rain in the area. So. Excellent. Excellent. I've been dying to know, I see a red phone all the time. What is a red phone for? So that's if there's an emergency. Um, they can throw some hard stuff at you like that, like, hey, FedEx, uh, 1511, right engine failure, to, like talk them down. And not only while you're talking them down, but you're also checking for traffic in the area, Absolutely. diverting some people. And then you have to talk to ARF, so Airport Firefight and Rescue, you have to call them. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of steps you have to take in that situation while getting all other aircraft out of place. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Thank you for coming. No problem. Friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Uh, we really hope that you dream big. You know, there's something in aviation for everyone. If hopefully some of this inspired you, check out the links below to learn more. We'll see you next time. Flight.